Okay. What is that? I think you killed it. Whoa, what's that about? Not our concern, boy. Focus. What does it say? Hmm. Something about an eternal war for the light. I don't get it. If both sides need it. Why not just share it? Greed. You will find it a common cause for war. They keep murdering the light out. It is war. The end of one. The robed one's lost. Oh. Attacking us for we didn't do anything. More will come. Where's this stuff even come from? Did you say something? No. Oh, okay. At least we're getting closer to the light. Wait, is that Sindri? Very well. To business. Well, when you do need something, I'll be around. Uh, yes, yes, come in. Oh, nothing. Okay. Look, there's a boat tangled up over there. <laughs> boat free! How are you here before us, Dwarf? We were told our path was the only one between realms. It may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. There's so little mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. Where to comb the realms for exotic resources. How to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic, but... Uh, oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? Did you really make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me. One of our best. Infused with the echoing screams of 20 frost trolls. Give or take. But why her? How did you know her? She sought us out in the beginning. She was... a special woman. She wanted to protect people. I suppose we thought it was a chance to give power to someone who'd use it for good. She even spoke our native tongue. She'd say, Madurin Sam Gengur, Egen Vigum Hans. Gengur I. That's right. That's impressive. I see a lot of her in your eyes. You know? Thanks, and Don't I... touch me. What? I didn't. I won't. I'll come back later. Be careful where you're going. There's nobody nice out here anymore since all the people left. I mean, I hate to generalize, but, um... Mostly, they just try to kill you. 
Good tip. Um, I know it's not my business, but if I were you, I'd wash off that symbol painted on your neck. We were told it would help protect us. Was that a lie? Oh, no, it's a protection stave, all right, but you can't render that pigment into paintable texture without blending it with boar urine. And is that really better than death? Maybe a little. Well, well it's your neck. <laughs> Sindri, have you always been so... Clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Ugh, so small you can't even see them. No. It's true. And if they get inside you, they make you sick. But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading, so now... I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Okay, back to work. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Why? Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using... Oh, his own bare hands. Ugh. No gloves. Says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver, and it changes your skin irreparably. That means forever. I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. <laughs> you know how sensitive he can be. I guess that makes sense. Sindri, why don't you just make up with your brother already? Me? Make up with him? Because he's an obstinate pighead incapable of change. Because he says the most terrible things about me, just because he's insecure about his own work, which, let me tell you, is subpar. Because he blames me for. for the things that aren't my fault. Huh? Like what? Would you pardon me, please? I need to collect myself. <sighs> Atreus, follow me. What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Did your mother speak of this realm? Not much. Just that since the elves are always fighting over the light, we kept them isolated. I said nothing. Where? Just when you said something. Ah! Ah! What is it, boy? Oh. Voices! You don't hear that? I hear nothing. Mm. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt... Evil. Look! Should we try talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. Without me or within me, death is sure. 
Yet within you I am life most pure. But I don't see any runes around here. Oh, we must find it. Back to the boat. The elves can't work things out. How find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things: survival or advantage. Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. This is locked up good. Sindri said, Mother was a warrior. Was she in a war too? Of a sort. Her family was decimated by hostile rivals, and she alone survived. She walked the warrior's path, but her war was to live on. To brave an unforgiving world alone. And that's why she has Sindri and Brock to make her the axe? She had the strength to wield such a weapon, and the wisdom to use it for good. She found purpose in protecting the weak. So, she'd help out the elves? No. Ready yourself to it!
Father, you ever know anyone else who heard voices? I knew desperate men at sea who, when our supplies ran dry, would quench their thirst by drinking seawater. They swore the sirens, evil creatures singing to them from nearby islands, were in fact their wives and daughters calling them home. They endangered the crew, steering us toward the reefs. Um, how did you fix them? We threw them overboard. Oh. Well, good thing I didn't drink any seawater. Right? Yes, it is. The blue door! That's gotta be the entrance. Let's go! Careful, boy. What are they doing? The bridge is gone. They covered the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements. <laughs> So that did something, I think. Do not get ready yourself. What is their problem? We do not belong here. Combined together like that, they kind of look like a room. It doesn't make sense. Come, back to the sand bowl. an elvish room. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. Yep, it's water, all right. Boy! It was the voices again, but different voices, less angry. They were asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. Luger. What's happening? Father? Yes? The voices I heard. It was hard to make out, but way in the back I'm pretty sure I heard. Mother. That is not possible. But I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. He looks different. Look at those horns. Behind me, boy. That can't be good. Yeah! 
Stay away from those cages. Wonder why they're locked up. Be ready. What? That was worth it. Think that side hallway will get us to the temple? We will find out. 